So I got a video from Justin, who is a tall, lanky guy and obviously could throw a mile. But first, we need to fix this one tiny little problem that I think is the root cause of all the other problems. Look at Justin's head. His head is ahead of himself. When he takes the stride, he starts to look at the target before he even gets the plant put down. If you think that the backhand throw is like a perfect string of falling down domino pieces, it should look like a perfect flow that is accelerating from the biggest pieces to the smaller piece. Now, the biggest piece we set into motion is this. When this falls down, it sets into motion this. When this falls down, it sets into motion this. And when this falls down, it sets into motion this. And so on and so on. The head is the last piece of the perfect string of falling down dominoes. Then we go like this. Now Justin here is making the head go first. And this is a big problem because when we turn the head first, it's very, very hard for us to get this motion done anymore because we have already started to uncoil before the leg hits the ground. And this makes this go too early and this go too early. And finally, the wrist and the fingers, they all go too early, which makes our disc release late. This is why Justin struggles with late releases. He cannot release the disc in its own time because he's got ahead of himself like this. So what to do instead? Well, the fix is simple, but it certainly is not easy. You don't want to turn your head. You don't actually want to do anything with the head. The head is the last piece of the domino puzzle so that all the other movements happen before that and last piece is the head. When you don't do anything with the head, it will fall down naturally. But how do we practice it? Well, like I'm doing here, I'm watching straight into the lens and I do the throwing motion. This helps my muscle memory to not do anything with the head. And it looks kind of good. You can concentrate on a mirror or any object that is somewhere there in front of your nose. You can watch to the ground or even a little bit behind yourself, but do not look at the basket or the target you are trying to aim at. Instead, focus on something else. Keep the head in place and throw. Learn to do this. And when you go to an actual disc golf course to practice, you need to resist the urge to watch your disc. The target stays there. The disc will release at the right moment, but you just have to trust it. Then when you throw, you wait for a while and then you turn to look at it. When you don't tense your neck, it will turn naturally with the rest of the body. But remember, it is a follow through action. It follows everything. You don't want to do it first because the head is always the last piece of the domino string. 